My name is Bob Phillips Colonna, and I'm the adoptive father for Tony Phillips Colonna. Tony had been removed from his uh, birth family, again at the age of four years old, uh, because of pretty significant severe abuse and neglect. Tony had many situations that had occurred in the first four years of his life. Certainly, you know, children who are impacted by trauma at an early age, um, they're their journey through life is going to be one of a number of struggles um, to really heal. And Tony had to go through that. There were a number of things over time that he's had to do, and, and for a lifetime. Uh, trauma is a lifetime thing. If you look at soldiers coming back uh, from the war, for a lifetime they will have to address their, the, the traumatic situations that they encountered. And for a child who doesn't even understand what's going on, um, the whole issue of trust um, the ability to trust another human being after the people you were supposed to trust um, violated that trust. My name is Tony Phillips Plana. I don't remember a lot about before Beachbrook, but I think that I chose to block out most of my memories because they were so traumatic to me. And I think that that affected me for a long time, but it also helped me improve my, myself and not want to do that to other people. I think me bouncing around from so many homes hardened me to an extent where it took me a long time to actually feel at ease at, at another place. The first time I truly trusted them without any prompting is when I first called them dad. That was, that was a milestone for me because my father had been so abusive to me that I don't think I wanted to call anybody dad. Going through abuse and what it did to me, I understand very well what it's like to be abused and being a father, I always try to prevent anything like that from happening because I know what it does to you. Never take it out on a child. The child doesn't understand what they're doing wrong. There were times when it was like, you know, do we just, you know, throw in the towel and be, and be done with this and, 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 and know that there wasn't going to be, you know, a, a Tony in our lives. Um, I'm glad we uh, persisted because in the end, um, really, I think uh, we were led to Tony. And I remember, you know, you get a book that's about this thick, a manual of all the kids that are available for adoption, and they kind of put this in front of you and you start to read the little stories um, of, of all of these kids and um, and look at which ones you would be interested in. And I remember uh, seeing Tony's, it, it really stuck out. So there's Tony in a tree and it's just something something there that connected us. Um, it's kind of like we didn't need to look any further. I've never regretted the decision to adopt Tony. It's the most awesome experience even through the toughest of times, um, you come up. The most important thing about Beach Road for me was taking me from hopscotching around to places and people and making sure I found the right place for me because I was bounced around 16 times before I made it to Beachbrook. There's nothing better in the world than having great parents and I'm glad that my parents adopted me so that I can see that. A few years ago I had an opportunity to speak with the staff of Beachbrook and share with them um, our story and also the, the joys and the celebrations and the gift that they gave us uh, through the work that they did in helping Tony to heal. They were instrumental in creating a family uh, where there was no family before. They were instrumental in giving hope um, to a lot of people. Beachbrook has certainly held a special place in my family's hearts for many years. We really look forward to our visits each year. Those visits came about because of gifts. Gifts we received from, from many very good and talented people. 
Your gift speech brought lead to a newfound hope in the face of despair. A hope that can now see that even when bad things happen, there are others that will be there no matter what. A hope that led to feeling secure and safe. A hope that came to know that you always go home. Even when bad things happen.